Do you know how submarines sink down and float up in the water? I will show you using the simple diver in the bottle experiment. For this we need a diver and a bottle filled with water. We have made a diver using a dropper and put some weight below it. We have also filled some water up to this level and there is sufficient air on the top of the diver. We have filled the bottle with water and put the diver inside the bottle. Now we will close the cap. As I apply pressure on the bottle, the diver moves down. But when I release the pressure on the bottle, the diver moves up. The reason the Cartesian diver behaves this way is due to the combined effect of buoyancy, pressure and density. The diver contains some air trapped inside it which makes it less dense than the surrounding water. As a result of that, the diver floats at the surface of the water. When pressure is applied to the bottle, the increased pressure compresses the air inside the diver and water enters in the diver, making it more dense and causing it to sink. When the pressure is released, the air expands in the diver and the water moves out of the diver, making it less dense again and causing it to rise back to the surface. This is the same principle used in submarines to float or sink in water.